Hello guys, I am finally back with another video. I was supposed to work on this video last week, but I just could not work it into my schedule. Also, before I start, I would like to say that originally, I had wanted to draw Chae Won with her classic orange dress, but I wasn't able to find an image of her in it. I have also tried pausing the videos of her dancing with that outfit but I could not pause on the moments that I wanted to, so I decided to draw her from another photo that I searched online. I actually also had footage of me sketching Chae Won in pencil, but it was too hard for me to draw her perfectly with the camera in the way, so I deleted the footage and sketched her off camera. I was not doing Chae Won justice when I was sketching her on camera. Anyways, this video I would like to provide general information about Chae Won and mainly just review their latest comeback. There won't be a lot of new information about her if you are a Wizoni, but just things to let you guys know who she is if you are new to Wizoni. Also, I was thinking of drawing the other members from this comeback as well because I think that they look so amazing in this comeback. But I might not be able to draw all of them because I might burn myself out trying to draw 11 more members, so it is best for me to draw the members I think really stand out in this comeback. Okay, let's get straight into learning a bit more about Chae Won. Chae Won's full name is Kim Chae Won. She was born on August 1st, 2000, which makes her 19 years old as of the making of this video. She is a Korean idol signed with Wollum Entertainment and managed by Off The Record Entertainment well with her group. She was a contestant on Produce 48 and was ranked 10th in the final lineup, which allowed her to debut in Izoni. Some of her nicknames are Angel Chae and Fairy Chae Won, which I completely agree with. She is also the lead dancer and lead vocalist of her group. Her official color within the group is mint. Note, please correct me in the comments down below if any of this information is wrong. Also, all my information comes from kprofiles.com, so please check out that website for more information about Chae Won and the other members of Izoni. Now let's move on to talk about their latest comeback, Fiesta. My first impressions was I totally loved it and was so into the song when it came out. Honestly I knew that I would love the song because I saw the trailer and I was pretty excited for this song to come out. Also, ever since this song came out, I have been listening to it on loop. I love all the outfits that I saw in the music video as well. Let's be honest almost always I am pretty sure their outfits are always on point and elegant. I would like to mention that my favorite outfits that I saw on when they performed their comeback stage were the outfits from February 2013 Kigeo stage and their outfits that they wore on the thumbnail of their music video. I just love Izoni's concept and I love how their title songs exude elegance and beauty. I mainly say this for their Korean title tracks because those are the ones that I mainly listen to. Fiesta definitely hits me in all the right places for a song. Even the choreography is on point, I love all of Izoni's choreography and all have iconic parts in their songs. Now let's jump back to discussing Chae Won in this comeback. This was definitely her era, she most definitely shined during this comeback. Everybody else shined as well, but for me I noticed Chae Won the most, second is Yoon Gi and third is Chae Yun. Like for this comeback she had short hair, which she looks amazing in and I loved her first line in the song as well. She really drew my attention. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to create a piece for her. She looked absolutely stunning in this comeback, like I could not ignore it. I think that she is amazingly talented and young. Now I have some extra things to say about my piece and that is I know that her hair was not this red and some of the colors were off, but I still like the end product. I think that my watercolor pieces have shown improvement in comparison to my other pieces. Also, I tried not to rely on Copic till the very end because I wanted to work out my piece with only watercolor. But other than that I was extremely satisfied with what I have produced and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little talk and review. I know that this video is pretty short, I honestly thought that it would be longer, but I like that it is short, sweet and simple. Please join me in my next video, which I hope to produce soon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. All in all, please follow me on my Instagram at xxjudesox. I will see you in the next video.